Hey everybody, exciting news. We added a date picker field type. And so let's just say, you know, you have a site and you want to get the child's birth date. Maybe you're sending updates about, uh, you know, their, their birth and development. So um, here I'm going to ask for email address and their child's birth date. And it's just a, a simple custom field type. So in this case, I did custom field one. And the field type in this case would be date picker. And we have quite a few now, drop down, check checkbox, and now date picker. And, you know, we're hiding the label text, so that's not going to show up. But label text, just like, like everything else, we have ghost text, which is right here. So you can change what shows up and it'll disappear when you click in there. We also have default text. So if you want to enter in, you know, uh, a default birth date, you can do that as well. Um, for example, um, and you can also pick the date format. So this is really cool because, you know, this could be based on your back integration, how, how things are getting passed through. Um, so we have different formats, and you can also pick international formats. So in some cases, it's day, day, month, month, or, or in, in, in the United States case, it's month, month, day, day. So you have several uh, flexible options here, and it just passes just like you see here um, on the integration level as well. In this case, you know, we're in the U.S., and so we're going to just kind of pick this dash format, month, month, day, day, year, year, year. Um, and then we have two uh, theme types, light and dark. In this case, I'm going to go with the light theme. And the thing that you guys have to know is that in the editor, you won't see the date picker. You have to preview it to be able to kind of see how it all looks. And so here it is. So I enter in my email, for example, right here. And then we also can pick right here. And it's it's a pretty cool date picker. You can pick the date and it gets automatically populated. You can change it really easily. Um, you can scroll back and forth. You can change, you can actually select the month too if that's easier for you um, with all the years as well. Um, and it'll auto populate it and you just hit sign up for alerts and it gets passed through. Uh, so that's the end of my demo here for the date picker. Hope you enjoy it. Let us know if you have any questions.